Would you like to learn how to crimp wire terminal connectors correctly? Follow these simple steps. Step 1. Cut off the wire end to clean it off. I would recommend that you snip off about a quarter of an inch using flash cutters. Alternatively, you can use side cutters or any wire cutter of your choice. Step 2. Strip back the insulation. Just remove enough length of insulation so that the wire sticks out a tiny bit on the other end and no bare wire can be seen at the back. This is the length of insulation you should remove from the wire. Step 3. Select the correct crimping slot on the crimper. This is pretty easy with insulated crimp terminals because they are color coded and the crimping slots on most crimpers are color coded as well. Step 4. Set the terminal crimp in the slot and hold it in place. If you're using a crimper that has a ratcheting function, just apply pressure to the handles for a few steps to hold the connector in place. Do not crush it yet. Step 5. Insert the wire into the terminal connector and crimp it. Simply squeeze the handles all the way to crush the connector and secure it firmly on the wire. Step 6 and the last one, inspect the crimp. Begin with the pull test to make sure the terminal connector is securely in place. After that, inspect the connector thoroughly to ensure the plastic barrel is not damaged and that no bare wire can be seen. So that is how to crimp wire terminal connectors correctly with a crimping tool. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please show your support by hitting the like button and sharing the video with your friends. And if you'd like to learn more about pliers, kindly subscribe to my channel. I promise that you'll learn so much about these Jod tools. Until the next video, it is bye bye from me. But before I leave, do you know that wire ferrules are different from crimp connectors? Please check out this video.